Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Find out more about the Bachelor Nation celebrity. Leslie is being introduced to the public during Jerry's season of The Golden Bachelor, and she is now answering 20 quick questions exclusively for BachelorNation.com. Discover a little bit more about Leslie down below. 1. One taboo subject I enjoy discussing is politics. 2. Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson are a famous pair that, in my opinion, epitomizes hashtag relationship goals. They're really cute. 3. Honestly, watching The Bachelor and The Bachelorette is my guilty pleasure. 4. I once heard the best relationship advice. You lean back, they lean forward. 5. I am a underscore 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 and the insert zodiac sign, characteristic that I value the most is Capricorn. Diligent work. Straightforward. Sincere. Devoted. Relentless. Aspiring. Delicate. Impatient. Each of these. 6. The thing I dislike the most is tardiness. One of my pet peeves. 7. I would absolutely eat spaghetti and meatballs for my final dinner on earth. Yum. 8. The Gloria Gaynor song, I Will Survive, always gets me in the mood to dance. 9. I have a secret talent. I'm an excellent snowboarder. 10. Of all the people you all got to meet at hometowns, my brother Stuart is the one who inspires me the most. 11. Clueless is the film I've seen the most times. Of course. 12. Michelle Obama is the most well-known individual I desire to meet. 13. The last search I did was for myself because my relatives told me I was well-known online. 14. Discovering new love was my favorite aspect of participating in The Golden Bachelor. 15. One thing I learned from being on The Golden Bachelor is how to truly focus on myself. 16. David Duchovny is the celebrity I'm crushing on. 17. I would advise anyone considering participating in The Golden Bachelor in the future to have plenty of rest before departing. Many late evenings. 18. I love so many of the Bachelor Nation ladies. If I could spend the rest of my life hanging out with just three people from Bachelor Nation, it would be these three. My choices are Michelle Young, Caitlin Bristow, and Trista Sutter. 19. One thing I cherish from my time on The Golden Bachelor is the friendships I gained with the fantastic crew and the amazing females in the cast. 20. In five years, where do you see yourself? Alongside the love of my life, experiencing incredible adventures and sharing laughter as we navigate life. Regarding her relationship with Justin Glaze, former Bachelor star Susie Evans responds to inquiries. Are they more than simply friends? See what she has to say about their connection by continuing to read. Season 26 of The Bachelor didn't end happily for Clayton Eckerd's ex-partner. He shares his feelings about joining Bachelor in Paradise. When Susie Evans, the frontrunner, learned that Clayton Eckerd had an affair with both Gabby Windy and Rachel Recchia, she was distraught. Tearfully, she left the show, but returned to obtain an apology from Eckerd. Evans turned down his rose during the last rose ceremony. They did, however, disclose that they had gotten back in touch and were giving their romance another go on the After the Final Rose program. Evans and Eckerd shared a short period of time together in Virginia before to disclosing their intention to attempt a long-distance relationship. Susie Evans settled in Los Angeles while Clayton Eckerd relocated to Arizona. Unsurprisingly, the couple soon declared that they were splitting up because their long-distance romance didn't work out. 
Susie Evans is still the favorite of Bachelor Nation followers to find love. The former Bachelor contestant responded to a query on potential appearances on Bachelor in Paradise during a recent Instagram AMA. The photographer revealed that, during a bout of FOMO, she considered appearing in the show. She claimed to have written down her goals, ambitions, dreams, both career and personal, while considering her options. She gave it a lot of thought, but she was still unsure of how BIP would fit into her life. Evans also disclosed that, through the summer, she had discreetly dated a man she met in Lay. Her brief romance ended badly, but it did teach her that she prefers a more traditional format in her dating life. Her most recent comment about BIP is consistent with her previous remarks. It appears that Susie Evans won't be returning to Bachelor in Paradise in the near future. Susie Evans responds to inquiries about her relationship with Justin Glaze. Fans of Bachelor Nation have been closely monitoring Susie Evans' relationship with former Bachelorette Justin Glaze ever after her breakup with Etchard. The speculations that she is dating Justin Glaze have been mostly dispelled by her admission that she dated someone this summer. She nevertheless answered a query concerning their romance. One admirer asked, Are you and Justin ever moving things out of the friend zone? In response to the query, Clayton's ex-partner posted a humorous video. In the video, she can be seen reaching out to grasp Glaze's hand, but he quickly withdrew it and shook his head at her. She wrote, I keep trying, in response. It's obvious that Justin Glaze and Susie Evans are good friends who like spending time together. Do you believe they'll ever step outside of their friendship circle? Share your opinions with us in the comments section. One more infant on board. Courtney Robertson is well known to fans of Bachelor Nation from season 16 of The Bachelor, where she eventually found love off screen with Humberto Preciado. Toaquin and Paloma are the couple's two children together, and they recently disclosed that they are expecting a third child. Courtney announced the news on Instagram writing, one more in 24. We are thrilled to announce the news. A newborn boy is due in May. I'm aware that sometimes it's difficult to see these announcements. I'm sending my undying love. Group of five, you, Humberto, are the one person with whom I would rather be outnumbered. In an interview with People, the Bachelor Nation star said that she and her spouse had always wanted a big family. In July, Courtney turned 40 years old. She told the source that she and their son are doing well and are both in good health. We just did all the testing, she remarked. Nothing is unusual, just a great sense of calm. I am now an old hand at this. I had all the same symptoms and had a sudden appetite for sushi, which is not recommended during pregnancy. So I knew right immediately that I was pregnant that is obvious. I thought I might be pregnant after that as I was having a hankering for bagels. Courtney revealed that she is appreciative of her husband's assistance with their other two young children as she navigates her pregnancy as she approaches the second trimester. My husband has just been a champ, really going above and beyond so I can rest as much as I can, she said to the site. Additionally, Courtney was open about enjoying every moment of her pregnancy because she knows it will be her last. I'm relishing the bagels, relishing every carb, she exclaimed. We're going to have our final one, I know. For this reason, everything is final. We can't wait to meet Courtney's newest member in May and are so happy for her and her family. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.